In the software 2015 report, Dr. Alan Salisbury astutely observed that software is the critical infrastructure within the critical infrastructure. This was the theme of the second National Software Summit held in May 2004. The 2015 software vision was then stated as achieving the ability to routinely develop trustworthy software products and systems while ensuring the continued competitiveness of the U.S. software industry. Four major programs were identified as the national software strategy. The question today is where do we stand with respect to the national software strategy and these programs? Improving software trustworthiness, educating and fielding the software workforce, re-energizing software research and development, and encouraging innovation within the U.S. software industry. In terms of outcomes, the situation is dire. The increasing dependence of industry and government on an immature software profession whose promise exceeds its delivery has now become a source of risk that teeters at the tipping point. The convergence of software, national security, and global competitiveness interactions and their fragile dependencies are capable of unleashing a destructive synergy of propagating and cascading effects. All this while both government and industry continue to play the role of free rider as users of software lacking both the ability and will to act. Industry and government continue to increase dependence on software produced by an immature profession that has stumbled in delivering trustworthy software components, systems, and systems of systems to the nation's uh, critical infrastructure and defense industrial base. The result is cybersecurity weaknesses and vulnerabilities seeded by our best and brightest that are being exploited at will by persistent adversaries whose capabilities and motivation can only be guessed at by assessing the trace of consequences they inflict. Essential cybersecurity foundations are lacking, and so cybersecurity practice is ad hoc, not well understood, and ineffective. Premature cybersecurity training and certification programs do not yield the capability to secure large-scale, sulfur-intensive systems. Research programs are misdirected. STEM initiatives promise what they cannot deliver. And executives and senior managers are disconnected from the realities they face. Citizen concerns about privacy, civil liberties, and liability serve as obstacles to deter effective information sharing erecting barriers to achieving cyber security. The increasing dependence on software to boost productivity and achieve competitiveness is not being met with increasing domestic workforce capability and capacity. Instead, enterprises in search of value continue to choose offshore outsourcing for skills and cheap labor. Despite vigorous attempts to stigmatize this practice by politicians. Cybersecurity shortfall threatens competitiveness by easy and continuing loss of intellectual capital to nation states who drive on an information highway without rules or consequences. Government tax policy, misguided regulations, and antitrust litigation offer additional impediments and uncertainty. Underlying all this, the nation's austerity and affordability challenge has the effect of tying our hands just when the starter's gun signals the start of the race for the 21st century. On top of all this, the will to act is lacking as the nation finds itself in a leadership crisis. The most bedrock attribute of competitiveness is the sustainability of workers' wages, the ability of U.S. products and services to meet the test of international markets while sustaining or boosting the wages of the workers who produce them is the definition put forth by the Council of Competitiveness. 
Stages of competitiveness are organized around the activities associated with supplier control, customer control, competitor control, and event threat control. Supplier control is achieved by establishing an attractive workplace culture, achieving maturity in process and skills, deepening industry relationships, and retaining personnel. The art of customer control is achieved by deepening customer relationships, uh, balancing business factors, and achieving total customer satisfaction. Controlling the competition is achieved by deepening community relationships, fielding superior products, and setting the direction for the niche. Controlling event threats and change is achieved by guarding against government intrusion, applying strategic software management, performing due diligence, and understanding reality. Issues facing competitiveness include increasing dependence on software to achieve competitiveness is not being met with increasing domestic workforce capability and capacity. Enterprises in search of value continue to choose offshore outsourcing for skills and cheap labor. Cybersecurity shortfall threatens continued loss of intellectual property. Government uh, tax policy, misguided regulations, and antitrust litigation offer impediments and uncertainty. The austerity and affordability challenge has the effect of tying our hands, just when the starter's gun signals the start of the race. The Department of Defense, the Defense Industrial Base, and the nation's critical infrastructure all face challenges in supply chain risk management. These diverse challenges span infrastructure, trust, competitiveness, and austerity. Beginning with acquisition, where supply chain foundations are laid, software and supply chain risk management assurance extend into operations and sustainment. The most essential attributes of security are trustworthiness, protection, and resilience. Security is defined as the condition of being protected against danger or loss. Software assurance is the level of confidence software is free from vulnerabilities. It involves trustworthiness and no exploitable vulnerability, justifiable confidence in predictable execution, and conformance through planned and systematic multidisciplinary activities. Simply put, the goal of cybersecurity is to assure the trustworthiness, security, and resiliency of software components, systems, and systems of systems of all kinds, including those used in national defense and the nation's critical infrastructure. Resiliency is the ability to anticipate, avoid, withstand, mitigate, and recover from the effects of adversity, whether natural or man-made, under all circumstances of use. Issues surrounding security include the cybersecurity gap between complete correctness and sufficient correctness continues to grow, and with it, the opportunities for adversarial exploitation. Closing the gap requires behavior computation, the net effect of program operations spanning all possible behaviors where the preferred outcome is full behavior nothing more. Cybersecurity foundations are lacking. Cybersecurity practice is ad hoc, not well understood, and ineffective. Cybersecurity training and certification programs do not yield the capability to secure large-scale software-intensive systems. Research programs are misdirected and promise what they cannot deliver. STEM initiatives cannot deliver results needed. Executives and senior managers are disconnected from the realities they face. Privacy, civil liberties, information sharing, liability, and concerns represent increasing resistance and barriers to achieving cyber security. The most valued attribute of software is trustworthiness. 
A trustworthy software system is engineered to rigorously demonstrate completeness, correctness, style, rules of construction, and multiple views in order to satisfy the attributes of trustworthiness, security, and resiliency. Issues surrounding trustworthiness include immature profession continues to stumble in delivering trustworthy software components, systems, and systems of systems. Delivered software continues to contain weaknesses and vulnerabilities seeded by our best and brightest that can be exploited. Growing dependence in the nation's critical infrastructure and defense industrial base seek to assure trustworthiness. Next generation strategies and tactics do not build on earlier work, lessons learned, and achievements from the past. Academia is not connected to the needs of entry-level practitioners. Software engineering continues to be stigmatized. Corporations seek to commoditize software engineering and programming by resorting to outsourcing. Technical debt is growing non-linearly. Technical debt is the organizational project or engineering neglect of known good practice that can result in persistent public user, customer, staff, reputation, or financial cost. When adopted, technical debt becomes the hole in your canoe. Each gallon of water bailed incurs additional cost. Each gallon of water not bailed adds to the sluggishness of the operation. <clears throat> By contrast, the kernel of trustworthy software assurance is structured programming and the rigorous and provably correct use of zero and one predicate primes, prime programs, along with proper programs composed of multiple prime programs limited to single entry and single exit. Build security in achieved through structured programming with its emphasis on correctness, uh, clean room software engineering and its statistical testing Static analysis tool use, common weakness, and known vulnerability evaluation. The national software strategy programs include improving software trustworthiness, educating and fielding the software workforce, re-energizing software research and development, and encouraging innovation within the U.S. software industry. Improving software trustworthiness is stalled, impacting security and competitiveness. Software trustworthiness foundations are known. However, there is a shortfall in software trustworthiness practice, increasing acceptance of technical debt. Cybersecurity foundations are not fully known. Consequently, there is a shortfall in cybersecurity practice. Shortfall in software trustworthiness and cybersecurity practice threaten U.S. competitiveness. Educating and fielding the software workforce is stalled, impacting security and competitiveness. STEM promises exceed delivery. Domestic software workforce shortfall serves to stimulate offshore outsourcing. Shortfall in cybersecurity workforce <clears throat> persists. U.S. competitiveness depends on software outsourcing. Re-energizing software research and development is stalled with respect to security, but energetic with respect to competitiveness. There is a corporate decrease in software R&D spending. DoD has withdrawn its support for the Capability Maturity Model Integration, CMMI. In addition, sequestration impacts loom over the defense industrial base. Yet the defense industrial base remains resistant to fixed price contracting. While there is continued focus on critical infrastructure protection, CIP, there is inadequate focus on critical infrastructure resilience, CIR. Encouraging innovation within the U.S. software industry is stalled with respect to security, but energetic with respect to competitiveness. While innovation in the small is in evidence, team innovation management needs improvement. 
Innovations in mobile and bring your own device bring new challenges to cybersecurity. There is a strong commercial industry product focus on innovation. One example in the defense industrial base is the Lockheed Martin Company's Innovate for the Future initiative. In assessing the current state of progress in the national software strategy programs, the following observations are offered. Lack of improvement in software trustworthiness may restrain security, but not competitiveness, due to a shortfall in trustworthiness practice and a shortfall in cybersecurity foundations and practice. Limited improvement in educating and fielding the domestic software workforce may restrain security as STEM promise exceeds delivery, but not competitiveness as this weakness may serve to stimulate offshore outsourcing. Limited research and development may restrain security with corporate decrease, decrease in R&D spending, DOD withdrawal of support for the CMMI, and the threat of sequestration looming over the defense industrial base, but not competitiveness. Moderate improvement in encouraging innovation within the U.S. software industry may serve to boost competitiveness with innovation in the small in evidence while impacting security as mobile and BYOD offer new challenges uh, to cybersecurity. In summary, on the one hand, software practice continues to be a challenge, revealing itself most evidently as an enabler to the nation's cybersecurity threat. On the other hand, software houses much of the innovation that underlies the nation's global competitiveness. In accordance with the austerity of the times, the immediate goal of practical next generation software engineering is to drive systems and software engineering to do more with less fast. Four practical objectives are identified to advance this goal using smart, trusted technologies. Drive user domain awareness. Simplify and produce systems and software using a shortened development life cycle. Compose and field trustworthy applications and systems from parts. Compose and operate resilient systems of systems from systems. Recognize that competitiveness is like flood water, finding or creating its own path. Competitiveness impacts both software and security as it favors offshore outsourcing and further impacts security as innovation drives towards mobile and bring your own device. Recognize also that software and security are connected at the hip through the elusive attribute of trustworthiness and together impact competitiveness. Here's my contact information. I would be happy to receive questions and have discussions with people on this important subject.